This is the third installment of my tutorial series building a fluid simulation in Blender and in the last video we left off with increasing the resolution of the fluid and setting the fluid to smooth. And now we can look at another couple of settings that can also increase the quality of our fluid. And we're still looking at the fluid in a static environment and in a still frames kind of scene. So I'll go back to the blob and I think I'm going to reposition my camera too. Could use being pulled back a little bit. just so we can have the whole thing into the image and I'll render this frame to see where we're at and here it is it's not looking too terrible and we are seeing quite a few hints of the faces and some edges as well so we'll look at another setting that we can use to increase the quality of our fluid. Of course there's always the option to raise resolution more but I don't really like to try to raise that too high all at once. Another setting that can increase the quality of our fluid is called surface subdivision and it's found in the boundaries tab so I'm going to raise this surface subdivision to 2. In this tab there's also another option called surface smoothing and I briefly experimented with that and found that it really slowed down baking a lot and haven't done any further experiments with it so don't really know a terrible amount about how much it's going to affect the surface of the fluid. Assuming by the way it slowed down baking it must have a effect and it's most likely a positive one. <clears throat> but I've as yet to play around with that and with the way that it slows down baking I would suggest that it's probably a setting best left till, till uh, more of a production type of render rather than just an experiment one. In order to speed the process up I've already baked this simulation at with the new setting and placed those files into another directory so I'll just navigate to that directory As you can see, surface subdivision does exactly what the name implies, and there's now uh, another level of subdivision to the resolution. So I would imagine that surface subdivision is another type of resolution type setting. Uh, that setting does slow down the bait considerably. So let's render that frame and see what it looks like now. Well, I'm looking at this thinking it's still showing some faces and such, but they're looking a lot smaller and somewhat less pronounced. Um, probably to increase the quality of this is going to sit in increasing the resolution more or using the surface smoothing option. But for the sake of, of moving along and trying to keep settings in a reasonable level for practical use on our home computers I'm going to leave my resolution settings the way they are and call that quality uh, good enough and move on to some of the other things that can affect the way that this fluid comes across because 
just looking at its physical attributes in terms of how many vertices and such it has is probably not going to pay off and so we're going to move on to the materials now first off I'm going to cut away from my video to see how much time I have left and what I can cover in in the remainder of this video so I'll be back in just a second with that well at this point we certainly don't have enough time to look at giving a material to our fluid but we can add a material to our floor and that's going to prove just as important as the material on the fluid so I'm going to quickly put a material onto the floor so I'll select that tab into edit mode go into the editing buttons and add a new material go into the material tab perhaps name my material floor choose a color for it I'm thinking of going with the same type of colors and textures I used in my video so I'm going to shoot for something in a brownish range and there's a light brownish color and then I'm going to add a texture to the floor as well which I'll also name floor enter the textures panel assign a, te a texture to the floor texture which I'm going to use marble because I like that one there's lots of settings in uh, in the different textures and I'm not going to try to explain all those um, the best way to get the hang of the textures is to play with them a bit I have an idea what I like I like this crackle effect I think that looks pretty nice and Playing around with the turbulence and noise size can go a long ways as well. I'm not going to do too much with this texture. Yikes, that's hideous. <laughs> so we'll go over to the texture tab here and look at some of the settings here. The map input settings, we're going to come back to that later um, along the process and along the ways I've discovered some pretty neat stuff to go with that that may look pretty cool when we put it all together and that's my texture it's really nothing special a little bland but we don't need it to be super special with the marble I like to go into the shaders and have it emit a small amount of light and this will help it to have a somewhat of a translucency effect and as well to go along with that in our map two options on the texture itself we can also set a translucency type of effect and you can see that's increased the texture of the of the material quite a bit and I think that's looking fairly reasonable so I'm gonna have a look at that in a render well that doesn't look so bad I think I could deal with that I'll be coming back to my texture again when we put the material and lighting to go with the fluid so We'll look more at that later and one of the things I'm likely to do is probably change the size of the texture so it better suits the fluid and well we'll come back to that in the next video where we're going to do exactly that put a material onto our fluid and make it transparent and hopefully have enough time to look at the components that interact with the fluid and how we need to adapt them to suit the fluid as well. So that'll be in the next video and I'll see you then.